1999, this award was named after Tara Singh Hare, the only Canadian journalist ever to be killed on Canadian soil. His murder remains unsolved and unpublished to this day. This is only the fifth time this award has been presented since 1999. We are seeing updates about the Charbonneau Commission every day. Now you're going to hear about the investigative team who uncovered this story. Patrick? And you know, I think as Canadians we can all be proud that of the five Tara Singh Hare Award winners, four of them are from Quebec! Hello! Oh, yeah. Now, does that mean that there's no investigative journalism in English Canada? Well, there's certainly more in Quebec, and you guys should be so proud. <laughs> Moi, j'aime le Québec. <laughs> that, that was too easy, Patrick. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. This is a case of journalism, journalism at its absolute best, a team of dedicated journalists who you saw working in the public interest to ensure the corruption is brought to light. Alors, félicitations et l'émission qui... Enquête d'avoir gagné le prix Terra Singh Hare. Je suis honoré, je suis vraiment honoré de présenter cet award, de reconnaître votre courage, de votre persévérance en dépit des obstacles et même les menaces à, vos sécu à votre sécurité, comme on a vu. Alors, allez-y, allez-en. <rires> Thank you very much. Thank you for this honor. Just a word to say how we are proud um, of what we did collectively uh, at Enquête. We're a group of journalists, producers, researchers, cameramen, soundmen, who are really dedicated to our job. But for us, it's more than a job. We are, uh, for four years, since uh, November 2008, remember? Mm -hmm. <laughs> on a professional mission looking and digging for the truth without bias. Rarely, bosses are praised. But in our situation, we have received an extraordinary guidance from them, mainly from a guy, a friend, Jean Pelletier. Hey, Jean Pelletier had a vision and saw the potential when he created our program uh, six years ago. I thought it was a bit crazy, but he was right. <laughs> and we couldn't do what we do without strong support of our law department. We have a strong team of female lawyers. <laughs> you know, the kind who don't forget anything. <laughs> We live in the details, tiny details, <laughs> petit, petit, petit detail. They question us, sometimes even aggravate us. But they do all of this with the spirit of moving us forward, not to prevent us to, uh, from getting to here. And mostly, I'd like to thank Radio Canada, which supports us strongly in our work. It proves that an organization like Radio Canada and CBC are essential in our society like ours. <laughs> Faire du journalisme d'enquête, ça demande des reins solides, une tradition d'excellence, du courage et des moyens aussi. Ce genre d'opération n'est pas toujours rentable commercialement. Rares sont les entreprises de presse qui ont la volonté d'aller au fond des choses et qui ont les moyens d'en assumer les conséquences. Il faut donc les appuyer. Radio Canada, in that, Radio Canada, in that context, served very well the interests of the population of Quebec in giving us the means to investigate. At the end of the process, most people in Quebec are convinced that the, the operation is paying off. As an example, since the, since the broadcasting of our reports and the ones of other journalists in Quebec from La Presse, Le Devoir, The Gazette, and so on, the cost of big public work contracts in Montreal fell 
Who said that Radio-Canada and CBC cost too much? <laughs> I hope that journalists uh, of the other region of the country will follow our path in investigating, uh, investigating sorry, public contracts. In doing so, maybe they'll discover that there's no Quebec gene of corruption. <laughs> maybe they will see that the phenomenon is more widespread than, than they think, not only behind the mask of Le Bonhomme Carnaval. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Uh, we would very much like to thank the Canadian journalist for free expression, for very touch, and thank you for, for, for this honor. I would also like to address a special thanks to our sources, anonymous, courageous sources. Uh, many of them are ordinary people who will remain in the secret of our investigation uh, forever. They went through the stress of uh, being, of fearing to be exposed, but they will never get the credit for some of the crucial information they provided us. Uh, they are heroes, and this award is for, for them. <clears throat>